Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to share five principles for you to become a future data champion in your organization. This is also a useful mindset for those of you looking to get into data analysis and something you want to adapt as soon as possible. A data champion is someone who can make challenges involving data easy to understand. This individual can bridge business and IT to ensure that an organization gets better reports improve data quality and utilization of data. The first principle you should take into consideration is business first and technical solutions second. This is something that I learned from consulting and it took some time before I adopted this. Looking back, I think it is because I was excited about my newfound technical skills and this was almost like a superpower that I wanted to show off. What actually happened is that I got more caught up in technical aspects like data loading, and report creation and when I sat down with end users I could tell that I hadn't really solved anything. I had just taken an existing challenge and repackaged it in a modern tool without really improving the process or creating any new business value. The moment I started putting the business first I noticed that I got invited to more meetings earlier in the process. I was no longer seen as a technical resource but now a sparring partner for stakeholders on data modeling, data architecture, data quality and how do we actually get to the end goal of solving a data related challenge. The second principle is to learn how to communicate with everyone in the room. This has taken me a long time to learn, but it is a quality that I really appreciate and have learned to love. I'm not sure when I realized that I can now go into a meeting and handle communicating across business and IT, but looking back, what has helped me to get there is to ask a lot of questions. If there is anything that I'm unclear about, either if it is a technical or business concept, I ask and as I start to bridge the business and technical aspects together, I make sure that I explain as I go and as this process goes on in a setting, everyone gradually gets more confident and a better understanding of how to solve a challenge becomes a lot more clear for everyone. At number three, I have to master your tools. You should continuously work to improve your skills regardless if it is Power BI, Tableau or, or Python or something else. And I accepted fairly early in my career that these softwares are evolving with new functions and features and I have to stay up to date. So I subscribe to newsletters, I read blogs, um, I take time to try out new features um, when they come out. And when I think something can be valuable in my organization, I am the guy to introduce it and take ownership to explore if it can be used to create business value. The fourth one is one that I struggled with at first and I think it comes from you know an obsession with trying to solve everything before wanting to show my work. Instead I learned to think in terms of incremental wins and so should you. I remember one example a very basic one but by creating a date period table I saw usage of reports really increase and the reason was that because the users could now go in and select predefined date periods like month to date current week year to date instead of having to select specific dates in Power BI. It is a small improvement, but it made it easier for end users to navigate and small improvements continuously over time adds up and it creates a positive momentum to your involvement in projects. The last and fifth principle is willingness to teach. This one can be challenging because getting up and talking in front of people isn't something that everyone wants to do. But as you learn more, you get more confident in your subject this is a very valuable principle to incorporate. This will make you part of a select few in an organization that not only can help solve business challenges, but you can also enable others to work smarter, better, and faster. I've done this personally through internal coursing, webinars, mentoring, and also through my leadership roles. If you think speaking in front of people is scary, then start with small groups, and as you get more practice, you can expand to larger groups. It is a very powerful principle and one that you will be really appreciated for. Those are my principles for becoming a data champion. Check out the description for other useful data analysis resources, or you can check out one of the videos that you see on the screen now. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.